there's a lot of superstitions involved in rodeo. A uh, huge one. Uh, don't ever drop your, lay your hat on a bed, you know, because you'll buck off. Uh, don't wear a yellow shirt because you'll muck out and all of that. Well, I never heard this one about peanuts, but um, I was, I, when I started riding bulls, I'd only been on about, uh, I'd only been on three bulls and I'd bucked off all three. And uh, there was this all girl rodeo in Seguin, Texas. I lived in Missouri back then and uh, I wanted to go really bad. And so I figured out, you know, my entry fees and the fuel it would take to get down there, uh, not staying in a hotel, washing my hair in the sink of a gas station, sleeping in the, in the car, all of that. Uh, I figured out what it would cost me and uh, and what I had and uh, I had I figured I had about four dollars and some change left over uh, for the four-day trip to eat on well I wanted to go so bad I was going so I thought about it for a day or two and figured the best thing I could buy was a big old jar of peanuts and I took a magic marker and I marked three marks on there uh, sectioned it off in four sections you know so that each day uh i would only eat down to that mark that was all the food i could get that day and i figured that would give me um you know the protein stuff i needed uh to be able to do that isn't that silly well i wanted to ride really bad uh i i, I wouldn't do that right now but anyway <laughs> i get down there and uh thank god i drew this young bull and he was a shoot fighting sucker he had antlers the boy had antlers on him i'm telling you well i'll tell you how long his horns was they were long and straight uh he could scratch his tail and i'm thinking dear lord you know between his head he can reach back there with his horns uh, he can knock me off just with his horns but he was knocking guys off the backs of the shoots and all of that and but i already knew how to claim authority over them because the bible says that we have authority over the beast of the field and um so in the lord i took that authority and and he calmed right down and i took my wrap nodded and uh, thank God he was more of a novice than I was, and I got him rode. And I won the bull ride that weekend. So I'm packing up my gear, and these uh, young cowboys come by, you know, visiting with me and all. And I said, hey, uh, I'm, I'm fixing to go pick up my check, and I'm going to go eat me a steak. I mean, I'm eating this dude's cousin, and uh, I'm hungry, and uh, I am tired of peanuts. Y'all want these peanuts? And they said, oh, no, don't you know? that it's bad luck to eat peanuts and go to a rodeo and I'm like hello I, j I ate them down here for two I ate them for two days on the way down here and I just won the bull ride and they're like give me those peanuts and they started fighting over them because they figured they was the lucky peanuts I'm like you dipsticks I mean come on all right the point is I, when when I rode I used to lay my hat down on a bed just to freak cowboys out um and you know the bad thing is i might buck off anyway and they'd say see it's because you're late no it's because i i'm i don't know how to ride um but anyway i used to wear a yellow shirt i used to lay my hat down on the bed and all because i wanted to defy the mindset that a superstition can control your life superstitions cannot control your life unless you give their control over to them just like a horse cannot control your ride your your way you ride that you're if you're riding him unless you give him the control unless you don't have the ability to override the horse or whatever the control is in my is in my court not a superstitions and uh, I knew that the Bible says that he would give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways um, my my life is under the headship of the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, I do not give a superstition any weight in my life whatsoever because that is bowing to a lesser deal. And my God is much mightier than that. This is Crystal Lyons, another Cowgirl Logic. Till next time.